Hello everybody, this is uh, my video blog and in this video blog I'm going to talk about uh, the puzzle of Brexit. Why is it so difficult for the United Kingdom to exit the European Union? Why is it so hard to find a mutually acceptable solution? The reason is that there are three incompatible promises that the Brexiteers have made, uh, which are three pieces of a puzzle that actually don't fit together. The first promise is take back control. We can take back control of 350 million pounds a week, control of our immigration system. The Brexiteers have said they're going to make their own rules, they're going to have control over judiciary, over the rules and regulations of, uh, that, that determine how things are produced in the United Kingdom. This is a perfectly legitimate aspiration. The problem is when you put it together with their desire for continuous access to a 450 million people single market in Europe. Um, Europeans say, I think rightly, we say, hey, if you are going to have your own rules, for example, you won't have environmental standards, which is legitimate, you can't be competing with European producers who are going to be held to a higher standard. You can't have just access to the single market um, in the same conditions as other producers. It's even harder when you try to put the third piece of this puzzle together, which is the lack of a border between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, which is required by the Good Friday Agreement, which set up a framework for the relationships in the Republic that led to peace, has been interpreted to mean there cannot be a border between the two sides of Ireland. Um, peace might be at risk if that was abandoned. If you have two regulatory regimes on the two sides of the border, how are you going to have a borderless, a frictionless uh, passing of goods, services and people from one side to the other? Those are the three pieces of the puzzle that don't fit, three promises that cannot be met together. They can't actually deliver on those promises because they are incompatible. Nigel Farage, in a debate he had with me um, uh, yesterday with me and in the parliament with others, he said, The only way forward now to deliver on the referendum is for a clean break Brexit. And what we told him, I told him, there is not such a thing as a clean break exit, it's a dirty break because more than 150,000 Spaniards live in the UK and in turn 300,000 Brits live in Spain. For all those citizens, what Mr. Farage called a clean break Brexit, it's a very, very dirty Brexit indeed. Leaving the, the, the European Union just without any deal is going to put me in trouble for lots of lives and is also uh, going to eventually lead to the same place because when you come back and you try to negotiate market access to a 450 million people market, we're going to have the same demands we had in the past. Finally, note that these difficulties actually point out to the big, big wins of the European Union, the big contributions of the European Union uh, to the welfare of Europeans. Peace and prosperity. Peace, in this case, is in between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. Prosperity is access to a large single market. The, Europe, the United Kingdom go government logically wants to continue having these wins, holding on to these big successes. Um, and that's legitimate. The problem is they want to do it without sharing any institutions that have brought those successes. I hope that was useful. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.